Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Nick, this is Project Whoop, and you guys are whoopsies. Today we're gonna to talk about something that I have been using for well over a year, the Logitech G29. The G29 and G920 are the same thing, except the G29 is for PS4 and the G920 is for Xbox. If you're planning on using it on PC, they both work exactly the same, but I personally prefer the G29 because you get a couple of extra buttons, a little wheel, which you can bind to change brake bias, turbo level, or any other adjustable parameters, and it comes with a little LED rev limiter. So what do you get with the Logitech G29? Well, you do get the wheel with pedal shifter behind it and you get pedals three of them clutch brake and acceleration if you want to get the manual stick shift it's an extra $60 the wheel is enjoyable to race with it's enjoyable to drift with and it's enjoyable to cruise around in your game of choice the different games have different force feedback settings and there are games there that if you turn the force feedback all the way to a hundred percent you will get a workout if you're concerned about the strength of the force feedback there is a plus plenty. The wheel will adjust to whatever your game sets up, considering that you're playing some of the more recent games. For example, if you race a standard Mazda Miata, it will set the steering rotation to 900 degrees, similar to real life. If you race an F1 car, it will set the steering angle to 180 degrees, similar to real life. And if you do get the shifter and you drive a car that in game has a manual stick shift transmission, it will disable the pedal shifters and you would shift with the stick shift. If you drive a car that doesn't have stick shift, that has sequential or pedal shifters, it will disable the shifter and you would be using the pedals behind the wheel to shift. All of this is changeable and customizable. If you always want to race with the stick shift, you can set it to that. If you always want to race with the pedal shifters, you can do it to that. Or if you have a specific steering rotation angle that you want, you can set it to that number. I like the grip of the wheel and even the wheel shape. They went for that sporty look or more leg room underneath with the flattened bottom. The three pedals are clutch, brake, and acceleration. By default, you have a little piece of rubber, which is to simulate hydraulic braking. The further down you press it, the more resistance you would have. To me, that is a hit or miss situation because it comes down to personal preference. I spent 10 minutes taking it apart and removing the little rubber. Other people like it and other people go the opposite way to where they remove that rubber and they put a bigger, harder one so they have even more resistance as they press the brake pedal. The good news here is that whatever your preference is, you can just change it. What I like about the setup is that you don't have to use all of it. So for example, in the future, if you upgrade the shifter or the pedals, you can just simply plug in the wheel and use the wheel normally, plug in whatever shifter you get to USB, plug in a hydraulic handbrake if you want to the USB. As long as you have USB ports, you can plug in as many things as you want. It's very easy to mount and unmount if you're using it on a table. It works with clamps, which are built into the design, so you don't have to bother with bolts or screws. The same goes for the shift. Having said that, there are holes on everything if you want to mount them up in a more permanent setup. And there are many mounts for the wheel, which you can easily set it up and just pack it away whenever you're not racing. The pedals have a carpet stopper. And if you're worried about scratching anything, you can just simply click them into place. And now the only contact is the rubber pieces. I still think it's the best wheel that you can get if you're thinking about getting into racing. This has been my full review on this. If you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I love y'all's faces very, very, very much bless your beautiful beautiful souls and i'll see you guys later